Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Every now and then we like to introduce you to an important person to Southeastern Athletics right here on our program. And this week we're going to take a look at Chris Haney, the academic advisor in charge of athletics. Athletics is one of the main things people see when they think of a university. But academics is what makes athletics possible. And while fans may see the running back break one for 80 yards or see the track star break a school record, it's actually what happens in this room that fans don't see that is more important. We monitor their academic progress. So at least two times a semester, professors get a request to give us an update on our student athletes academic wise. So we get an updated grade and we get comments from the professors. If we find that we have some student athletes who are not performing at the level that we would like them to perform at, we call those students in. We have one-on-one -on -one meetings. We look to see what the problem is. If it seems like they need some tutoring, we assign them to a tutor. Meet Chris Haney, the new academic coordinator at the Dick and Glory Sharp Academic Center located in Strawberry Stadium. Haney recently joined the Lion family after moving here from Texas. I was a high school counselor for 21 years in the Houston area, in Houston, Texas, so I worked at the high school level. Most of what I did was working with the um, seniors, juniors and seniors, trying to help them get into colleges. Worked quite a bit actually with some of the student athletes, so I was familiar somewhat with the NCAA rules. Haney oversees the Sharp Academic Center, which sees more than 330 athletes every semester. And within the center, students get the counseling, tutoring, and one-on-one -on -one help they need to keep them within good standing in the classroom and active on the field. Because with class, practice, game time, and long bus trips, being a student athlete takes lots of time. We make them map out when they go to class, when they have practice, the afternoons or the nights that they typically have games and then we say okay you get up at this time you go to bed at this time after you've mapped out everything that's required of you in a day excluding study hall let's look at your time and it really is amazing although their time is tight they have time to plug that hour and a half in here or that hour here. Haney attends as many spring sporting events as she can and has taken an active role in being a mentor for women's basketball and it's not even a sporting event where Haney gets most excited. It's at graduation when Haney gets to see her athletes graduate. It gets her, yeah, you guessed it, teary-eyed. I literally cry at, the, at every commencement exercises <laughs> because, again, when you work for some, with somebody for that long and you see them walk across that stage, even though I've never been a parent myself, it is, I feel like a proud mom. Special thanks to Chris Haney and all she does, keeping our athletes successful on and off the field. That's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to remind you, on March 31st, keep it on your calendar, Southeastern football will have their spring game. It won't be at Strawberry Stadium. It'll be at the practice field because of the new turf construction at Strawberry Stadium. And also, on April the 20th, the Southeastern track team will host their first meet right here home on their new facility. Also want to remind you to stay current as always at lionsports.net and this show would not be possible without the Lions Athletic Association, the LAA. For everybody associated with this show, I'm Alan Waddell. We'll see you next time right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm.